What's going on everybody? This is Ryan. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons guide video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make 10,000 Nook Miles every single day in about less than an hour. So before we get started, I should probably preface this video by saying if you're looking for a trick or something that requires very minimal to almost zero effort to do, unfortunately, this video is not going to be for you. Because you see, the way that I get 10,000 Nook Miles every single day is actually by having an optimized inventory system that allows me to just burn through Nook Miles tasks as quickly as possible. So this is pretty much what my inventory has been looking like every single day for the past about week or so. And I have to give credit where credit is due, I saw this layout originally posted by Reddit user NinjaOX301. I'll go ahead and post the photo credit in the description down below. In the photo, he has kind of a brief outline in terms of why it's set up this way, but we're going to go over it in this video, and I'm going to show you exactly how many Nook Miles I can get as quickly as possible. So the top row here is essentially just your tools that you're going to be having in your tool ring. Pretty essential and straightforward stuff here. Over here, you just have a stack of customization kits that you can use in order Order to complete the customized DIY tasks that you get. Instead of spending like two or three to customize a single piece of furniture, what you can do is you can actually just use these to customize your shovel or your net or your fishing rod. And it only costs one customization kit. So it's really easy and really cost efficient to just customize those. Right next to it, you'll just have a stack of trees to plant. Pretty straightforward. It's for the plant a tree nook miles task. Down here on the second row, we have a collection of fruit. The first three here are going to be your native fruit. This is going to be for the nook miles task that are things like sell five fruit as well as plant fruit trees. Next to it, I keep a complete stack of every non-native fruit that I have. For those that don't know, an entire stack of 10 of non-native fruits sells to Nook's Cranny for 5,000 bells. So when you get the Nook Miles task that says sell items to get bells and it's out of 5,000, all you have to do is sell one of these and you're good to go. And the cool thing is that you can actually stack this too. Sometimes you'll get a task that says sell items to earn bells and then there's another one that just says sell fruit. You can actually instead of selling five of your native fruit and then selling a stack of this, selling a stack of these will actually just take care of both tasks at the exact same time. So it's really efficient. Next to the stack of fruit, there are three manila clams. This is used to complete the build three DIY things. And so you just make three fishing baits, which you can actually then use to complete catch fish tasks. And then down here on the third row, I just have three of the hot item of the day for the sell a hot item for a fortune task that you get every now and again. Down here at the bottom right, we have a stack of flowers. Pretty straightforward, plant flowers. The mini DIY workbench, as mentioned earlier, you're going to be using as you walk around your island to do the complete DIY tasks that you get. So instead of running all the way back to your home and then making it there, you can just plop out the DIY workbench really quick, make your fishing bait, put it back in your inventory, good to go. And it's a two for one because then you can also use it to customize things. And then over here to the right is the changing room for when you get the access your wardrobe and change your look tasks that you get. And that's pretty much the setup. So again, big thank you to Reddit user NinjaOX301. Ninja, if you ever find this video, I just want to say thank you for the inventory layout. It's been really, really effective and really efficient in order for me to get Nook Miles really, really fast. So thank you. So before I do this for the next hour and show you guys exactly how many Nook Miles I can get, again, I just want to say that if you were looking for a quick fix or something that required minimal effort, I apologize without time traveling. As far as right now, there's not really a really, really efficient way that I've found to get Nook Miles. But we're going to go ahead and go through it. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it is 744 p.m. right now. I'm going to either go until one of two things. As you can see, I have 18,180 Nook Miles currently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go until I have 28,000 Nook Miles and see how fast we can do that. Or I'm just going to go for the next hour and see how many I can get within the hour. Now, I'm not going to show you all that. I'm just going to do it and then we'll just transition to it and I'll show you guys either 28,000 Nook Miles or how much I've got after an hour. So I'll be back in a second. A few moments later. All right, really quick, just wanted to show how far along I am in the process. It's currently 8.14 p.m., so it's about 30 minutes since I started actually trying to get Nook Miles. And as you can see here, we've gone from 18,000 to almost 24,000. So that is within 30 minutes. So I should be able to get to 10,000 miles total today in the next 30 minutes. I'll check back in with you guys in 30 minutes, maybe less. A few moments later. All right, we're at the home stretch right now. We're at 27,730. There's another 200. We are only 70 away from 28,000. All I have to do, earn bells by selling items. Earlier, I was talking about just sell a stack of fruit for 5,000 bells. Here it is right here. Just gonna sell a stack of oranges for 5,000 bells. 
sold and here we go let's go ahead and claim 150 and you know what we were at i think it was like 18,180 when we first started i think i can get 100 let me go ahead and tend some flowers really quick and then uh, that'll be it luckily for me i have this gigantic area of flowers here that i can water and that should do it ladies and gentlemen it has been 45 minutes and in 45 minutes we have gone from 18,000 nook miles to 28,180 and i'll show you right here really quick down to the left hand corner 8.30. We started at 7.44, technically like 7.45 because I did a little bit of talking right afterwards. But as you've seen, I can make 10,000 Nook Miles a day in under an hour. That is how I make Nook Miles really, really fast. A lot of people were wondering this in regards to my most recent video where I actually did my first ever villager hunt. People were asking how I got so many tickets, how I got so many Nook Miles, and this is how I did it. Now, it should be noted that as I mentioned just now, that was my first ever villager hunt. So I had a lot of Nook miles saved up so it's a bit arbitrary and inflated from what it would normally be because I up until that point didn't really spend my nook miles on anything but lately I've been making it a point to spend at least 45 minutes to an hour to get the daily 10,000 nook miles that I've basically been committing for myself. And as you can see, because it's so easy to do time-wise at least, I can do this easily for the next hour or so and then end up at 38,000 nook miles and then 48,000 nook miles over the next couple of hours, at least as long as I have the resources to do so. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions regarding the inventory system, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I know that I basically skipped out on a big chunk of doing all the tasks for getting nook miles and stuff like that. Look, if there's anybody that wants to just watch like a 45 minute to an hour long playthrough of me going through and just earning Nook Miles, by all means, let me know. I don't think there will be people who are interested in that, but you never know. As always, if the video is helpful, please be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as well and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified when a new video on the channel is ever posted. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.